it's Danielle Cormier and welcome back to my channel. A couple of videos ago I uploaded, you know, I tried following a blank makeup tutorial and I did Sandra Deluxe. Well, <clears throat> I really liked doing that so I kind of want to like make it a playlist on my channel. So today I am going to be trying to follow a Sarah De La Rosa makeup tutorial. Um, I did moisturize my skin already, as you guys can tell, you know, looking nice and moisturized. Our primer. First product that I'm going to be using is the Cover FX Blurring Primer Base. This is a blurring primer that instantly minimizes the appearance of pores and fine lines to create a super smooth, flawless airbrush look. This is it right here. I don't have the cover effects, um, blurring, the primer, whatever thing. Well, I'm just going to use my, this is the NARS Pour in Shine Primer. And, um, so. I, where I have fine lines. So, like, right here. Definitely right here. Also, like, in between my eyebrows, I feel like I get a lot of fine lines there. Obviously, my forehead. Don't forget your forehead and then my chin. I'm not gonna do anything to this area right here because I don't have really large pores, but if I did, I would totally, you know, apply. I got large pores right in there, so I'm gonna apply this along this area as well. So I know this is not my first time using this product, but this is gonna be my first time like seeing if it's a good primer because it is a prep and set spray, so you can Put this before your makeup and I want to see if it's like a really good prep spray if that makes sense um I really like this Smashbox primer water I love that thing like especially to moisturize my face it just feels so good so she's using the morphe um prep and set uh spray I only have the continuous setting mist so um she said she likes to use the Smashbox primer water which I do have so since she's using that I'm gonna go ahead and use the Smashbox so this is it this is the Smashbox photo finish primer water we're super super excited to try this foundation because Lauren Mercy A did send me this it's one of their new, it's actually their new foundation. Laura Mercy A, if you are watching this, thank you. I have them here in this box right here, this PR box. Let me shake it first. Okay, so these are two. So I do not have the Laura Mercy A foundation that she's talking about. Um, Actually, I don't think I have any Laura Mercier. The only Laura Mercier thing that I do have is my setting powder. So since she's using Laura Mercier and it's like relatively new to her, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my dirty, crusty, like highly used. This is the NARS um, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I think this. Yeah, I think this is good right, right. here. So she took like color. three pumps on her hand. Okay, so I am going to be doing first one side of my face with my beauty blender and then one side of my face with like a brush just to see, you know? Let's top this all over my face. For today's beauty blender, I'm not going to be using my regular beauty blender. I'm actually going to be using the Morphe sponge. This is how it looks like. I don't know the specific name, but I will have it on my description bar so you guys can check this sponge. Okay, so I am not going to be using a brush on one side of my face because I already know how this foundation is. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish dotting my face and blend all this foundation out. Now. So for concealer today, I'm going to be using the Ultra HD Invisible Cover Concealer from Makeup Forever. They are these two. I don't have those concealers. The ones right here. And I feel like I'm going to be using two. I'm going to be um, taking the Y41 shade and the Y33 shade. I will list them down below. Let's apply it now. Okay. 
Okay, so she said she's gonna use two. The color that she's applying right now kind of looks more close to like her skin tone. I guess I'll apply two concealers too. I'm gonna first use my Tarte Shape Tape. And this is in the color Tan Sand, which is like typically my color. And she's just applying it like in a nice like triangle shape. Okay, so she's already concealed and now we're gonna move on to highlights. Much under my eyes. Which is still concealer. So she's using like a lighter color concealer now. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. And this is typically what I like to use for um, highlighting. Dots. So. Dots. Actually, never mind the dots. So now that we have that on, I'm gonna be going to be now setting my concealer and I don't have a new translucent powder so I'm going to be using my good old Kat Von D translucent locket powder. Alright cool. So she's using the Kat Von D translucent locket powder which I have right here. Um, this is probably like the first setting powder I ever bought and it is so bomb. Um, I really love it. So she's setting her entire face now with the same powder, but it's like a bigger brush. So I'm just gonna go in with my Morphe E42 brush and set the rest of my face. So now that our foundation is set, I'm going to be bronzing up my face. I've recently discovered a really good bronzer, and that is the NYX Matte Bronzer in Deep Tan. This is it right here. I freaking love it. One of my good friends introduced it to me, and I'm looking I don't have that bronzer, but I have a similar bronzer, and of course it's affordable too. I'm going to use my... I'm just gonna use my ColourPop um, pressed face, my ColourPop pressed powder face bronzer, and this is in the color California Dreaming. I'm just gonna go in with my BH Cosmetics number three brush from the Rose Gold Collection. Okay, she only put bronzer here and around the forehead, so that's all I'm doing. She's out there. Um, I've just literally been using like the brush. Look how good this is. I have not found any good blushes out there. Um, I've just literally been using like the Benefit California um, blush. I've also been loving the Milani baked blushes and I've been using more bronze and luminoso. These so I have that. I have um, the Milani baked blush and this is in the color luminoso. because I think the last time I did was in 2016. I'm not sure. I will check. I'm going to be doing my eyebrows off of the camera as always. And I'll see you guys right now when I have eyebrows on. 
okay so she's not doing her brows on camera so i'm not gonna do my brows on camera either so i'll see you right now when i have my brows done too okay and my eyebrows are done so let's go ahead and finish this up and i am so excited because i'm going to be using the new jacqueline hill by morphe palette and so excited because i love Y'all, the bitch. Mm -hmm. Exactly why I did that. It's in the title. Morphe X Jacqueline Hill Makeup Tutorial. So here it is. It's a little danky. It's a little dirty. It's been, you know, used. She's been used. So the only color that I'm not going to be using in that palette, which is very surprising to me because uh, Jacqueline does have amazing range of transition colors, but I love like a very bright orange crease. That's what I really want to go for on my eyes. So for that, I'm going to be using the Van Vaz Red or Dye Palette. So, like, I don't have that palette. Um, so the color orange looks pretty close to this orange that I have in the, it's my Ray Ray, sorry, it's my Ray Ray, um, BH Cosmetics palette and it is going to be the color Spiced so I'm just going to use um, Spice for this and so the Violet Boss palette so Caitlin and Alice mixing those two together to create the creeps that I want okay so she's not going to tell me what she's doing Alright, so she looks like she just has like a really big fluffy brush and she's taking that orange and she's putting it like above her crease, slightly above her crease and in her crease. I'm going to take my Morphe R37 and I'm going to use that and I'm just going to do this. So what's she doing? Okay. We're gonna go with this. Palette is Okay, so next she's taking this color right here. So I'm going to be applying this on my crease. Okay, so she's using like a smaller brush but she's applying it like in her crease so i'm gonna use my morphe m54 brush and take that right in the crease like she is don't have that concealer so she's cutting the crease so um i'm gonna use my bye bye under eye by it cosmetics <gasps> yeah i literally could not a breathe doing that. That was intense. Okay. That was quicker than I expected. I did pretty good. So now I'm not going to leave this blank. So now I'm going to be taking the right. Okay. So now she's taking this shade right here. This in the inner of my eye. Now I'm going to be taking Bane. Okay, now she's taking Bane, which is this pretty pink shade right here. And she's putting that on the thinner of the eye. And next she's taking this color, I think. 
a little bit of firework with this Morphe M514 brush. And with a Morphe M514 brush, which I have right here. I'm going to use that same one that I used earlier. I'm going to just apply this right here. And okay. This is in the shade over night. Um, I'm actually going to be taking this all over my waterline. Now I'm going to be taking... So she's taking like a blue, kind of dark blue um, eyeliner. I don't have that one, but I do have the Kiko Milano one. This is in the number nine. And she just took that all over her um, waterline, she said. Now she's going in with a flat brush. I'm using my Morphe M432. And she's going in with this beautiful like royal blue color. Okay, so now she's going in with the Morphe M506 brush and she's taking this beautiful like um, turquoise till color right here called Pool Party. Now I'm gonna be blending it with Work. But first, I'm going to be adding a little bit of Alright, so she's blending it in with its work, and she said she's going to add a little bit of Fix Plus, so I am too. Okay, so now she's like creating a wing and she's using the L'Oreal eyeliner. Oh, she's like... Okay, so now that that's done, I'm... I look crazy right now. I'll be applying my eyelashes. These are right here. And I also have a discount code if you guys want to use it. It's going to be down on my description bar. So now I'm going to take the... So I don't have those lashes, but I'm going to go ahead um, and use a kind of similar lash. They look like kind of double stacked. So I'm going to use the House of Lashes uh, Nori Fairy BLK lashes. It's going to be down on my description bar. So now I'm going to take Beam and then I'm going to... So she's taking Beam and I'll be honest, I don't really know which one that is since, you know, I don't... Um, I don't have it. <laughs> the names. So I'm So now I'm just going to be adding my highlights to my favorite part. I'm gonna be using these cover effects drop. This one is a Can I have this? Light. So I'm gonna be adding this on the highest points of my I'm so excited to try these Dose of Colors um, highlighters and I'm going to be using this one right here. This one is in Ice, Ice You Baby. So I'm going to be applying it with my Morphe M36. R So I don't have either one of those so I'm just going to use my technique. I'm going to take my, I'm going to take a damp beauty blender as always i'm going to take my frisali unicorn essence drops and i'm just going to add all um add it on top of my sponge like you already know i don't have that highlighter i'm just going to take uh the artist couture um, this is the Artist Couture collab with Jackie Aina in the color La Peach. Honestly. And last but not least, I'm going to finish it off with the Cover FX Mattifying Setting Spray. And if you guys didn't know, the weather here in Las Vegas is a hundred. So I don't have the Cover X. Cover FX Mattifying Setting Spray, but I do have the Cover FX. So this is the Illuminating Setting Spray. So, and it's like similar to that. They all have like this little ball in them. If you guys do decide to recreate this look, please tag.
tag me. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like this video if you did and subscribe down here and I will see you guys on the next video.